Hey, good morning, everybody. Good to be here again. Thanks for taking the time to stop by. Uh, this is a little bit different than one of the uh, the box breaks that we've been doing in the last couple weeks. This is a, a new footage, you know, uh, just got back into this collecting. And this box here is uh, a pretty cool box that I found. You know, garage sailing, flipping, junking, doing whatever that is. I was a big High Life fan, and I'm gonna open it up. It's some cars that I haven't looked at for, for years, and uh, I wanna just open this up, put this out there, let you guys see kinda a little bit of what we're dealing with right now, and try to get some insight on how best to, to set this up as a, as a collection. Um, it's We should find some interesting things here. There's probably football cards and hockey cards. I don't collect too much baseball or basketball, but that's not saying I don't have them buried in some boxes somewhere. So without further ado, let's crack this thing open. And as you can see, it was just kind of a storage box. And uh, what we've got in there is, uh, looks like some of, the way this box is set up, you know, I, I, uh, I thought, man, that'd be a cool way to store some of my cards. So I just reached into this cabinet right now and I'm pulling out. We've got a 1994 Brett Favre playoff. And that's followed by his playoff 1993 card. And then we've got a top's finest Shannon Sharp from, what's that? 1994, 1994 tops finest Shannon Sharp. Back when I bought these there in 94, man, these were some of the, they were just developing that technology. Looks like we've got a 1982 Ronnie Lott. So over the years, you know, I'd go through these collections and I'd, I'd sleeve some of these cards. There's a uh, Lawrence Taylor rookie card coming out from, what does it look like? 1982. So 1982 Lawrence Taylor. Here's a, a Walter Payton from, uh, and I need my readers, man, because I, I damn sure can't read that. But yeah, I went through here and, and just sleeved a bunch of these guys that I collected over the years. Here's a, a Topps Chrome Walter Payton All Pro. Not sure what year that, that is. It's a reprint of 1986 card. 1996, I think. Here's another Walter Payton that we've got. Here's here's a pretty cool card. Back they, they used to do a lot of combinations back in the day. You know, there's Eddie and Walter Payton, football brothers. Here's another Sweetness. 1982 Sweetness. This is one of my all-time favorite cards. I've got quite a few of these. Um, it's his rookie card, Earl Campbell rookie card. For years, this was the only card that you could find of Earl Campbell. It looks like a 1978. So 1978 there. Here's 1978 rushing leaders, Earl Campbell, Walter Payton. World, uh, 1978 record breaker, Walter Payton, followed by a 1978 record breaker of Earl Campbell. Now, I was collecting these back in the days where, um, you know, there wasn't the technology there is today. Here's Otis Anderson. Here's, oh my gosh, wow. This is a heartbreaker right here, and I'm going to tell you why. Back in the day, this card was released, and I believe it's 1981, top, 1981 Tops Basketball, and they released these cards, and when it came out, as you can see, there's, there's a perforation line, and the cards were whole. So those, that, that perforation was together. I had, uh, I had two or three of these and we were young at the time, maybe nine or 10 years old. And what we would do is we'd, we'd break these apart and, and put them out there on, on the, we, we'd do like card battles with them. And so we'd break these cards in, in, apart. And I really wish I wouldn't have, because right now, man, this thing is, would be, Man, it'd be an amazing find. So, uh, it's not whole, but it's it's one of those those cards that you know I'd like to. I, I really enjoy that. And years later, once I found out what the hell I'd done, man, it, it was really depressing. Here's a press pass 2001 breakout LT. It's a die cut. 
you can't really tell in but in the in the protector but yeah that's a die cut here's another press pass L, lt pay dirt rookie card another press pass 2001 so hopefully what we'll be able to see is a lot of a lot of disparity and change over the years there's a bowman barry sanders not sure what year here's a new sensations michael vick 378 out of 1250. Here's a 1994 Joe Montana when he was with the Chiefs. Back back then, this was like one of the first sets that had that technology, that that, that chrome look or that uh, prismatic look. Here's a 1976 Jack Lambert. Here's a Charles Woodson rookie card. Here's a Richard Seymour rookie card. Another die cut. An Edge 93 of John Elway. It's one of my favorites as a Bronco fan, you know. Here's a Topps John Elway. I believe this is a reprint. I'm not sure what year it is. Uh, and without my readers, I can't tell. Here's a real cool card that back in it's an edge 93 john elway and this was one of the first type of prismatic cards that i can remember seeing so I had, of course had to had to put that away for safekeeping here's a 94 playoff john elway and as you can see kind of has a little shift to it score 91 john elway here's one of my favorite Players of all time, Terrell Davis. Here's another one of his cards. It's uh, Invincible, 2001. It's got kind of a see-through, see-through hologram image right there. You, you flip it over on the back, and and you get him, you get him looking, looking at something. <laughs> and then here, here's one I picked up recently, and and I threw it in this box. Um, Von, uh, Optic Von Miller. Now we'll go to the next stack and we'll see what we've got here. We've got a 1994 Topps Finest Emmett Smith. Those were really nice cars. They're some of my favorite cars. And I think at the time, man, they might have only been going for three three dollars a pack. There's a Barry Sanders, 94 Finest. There's an Eli Manning. And a Bruce Matthews. There's a Andre Reed. A Jim Kelly. A Bruce Smith. Another Andre Reed. And another another Jim Kelly. There's a Boomer Esiason. Classics. Classics NFL experience type cards. There's a Cortez Kennedy. There's a 94 playoff Drew Bledsoe. Ninety four playoff John Taylor. Here's another recent card. Got in a trade. Keep to leave score captains. Here's a here, here's a pretty cool card. An upper deck star rookie, Tony Gonzalez. Skybox, Drew Bledsoe. Tops total, Chad Pennington. 1976. It's a 77 card. Uh, rushing leaders, Walter Payton and OJ Simpson. Here's one from the hockey collection, uh, Joe Sackick, uh, Stadium Club memorabilia card. These were some of the first memorabilia cards I pulled. It looks like from year 2000. So 2000, Joe Sackick memorabilia card. I think that was that might have been that might have been one of the first ones. Here's here's an awesome card. It was my first autograph pull. Um, Tops Heritage from I believe 2000 2001 time frame. Um, it's an on-card autograph of Gordy Howe. 
it came out of the box. It was a little, it was a little dinged up. You know, by this point, I'd already been taking care of my cards pretty well. And uh, it just came out of the box that way. So we've held on to that for, for years, well, at least 15, 17 years. Now we'll go into this other compartment, see what we got. We've got a, a pack of, of Game Day 93. Kind of rough, tough, and rugged. Back in the days, I, I didn't have uh, sheets or anything. I definitely don't have sheets for these. But that's how I kept them kind of in, in the packs. we got Bill Brooks. We've got a Russell Maryland for all you Cowboys fans. 49er Steve Wallace. A Rufus Porter. A Ron Hall. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, a little cream sickle. Natron Means with the San Diego Chargers. Robert Massey putting putting the putting a lick on old Michael Irvin on the playmaker. Here's a rookie standout for all you Jets fans, Marvin Jones. Lorenzo White with the Houston Oilers, now known as the Tennessee Titans. Jack Trudeau for all you uh, Colts fans. And, of course, you got to have a kicker, Chip Low Miller. And then here, here's a real nice card, the Thurman Thomas, 93 game day. The, the game day collection was pretty cool because it uh, it was really marketed as, as, a, as a sink to – the game day program, which was uh, available for NFL games back back during that time, real uh, kind of an exciting card pack. So we'll reach in here and we'll pull out another list. We got a '94 Tops Finest Willie Rofe, '94 Tops Finest Jerry Rice. Got, I believe that's a 1977 Aussie Newsom. We've got a Marshall Falk. Now we got some hockey cards, it looks like, and this is a, a Rob Blake Heritage Chrome version from 2000. Here's some of the, the some of my most favorite cards that I was collecting. Uh, Tops Gold Label Hockey, and as you can see, man, these things were were real. You know, gold refractors, I believe from. Uh, 2001 as you can see that's a 69 and 99 there's a scott harnell with the nashville predators Let's see if that's numbered and it is uh at 11 11 out of 99 they also came out with these uh bullion the gold bullion so tops gold label gold bullion patrick waugh ray bork and peter forsberg it's not numbered. It's just how, how that card came out. Here's a Topps Heritage Marion Hosa Chrome. Here's a Mario Lemieux Reprint Chrome. Here's an Invincible 2001 Reggie Wayne. Kind of the same thing as that Terrell Davis card that we saw earlier. That holographic image right there. Pretty cool. Here's another Reggie Wayne. Here's a, a Topps All-American reprint, Brian Erlacher. I'm not sure it's, I'm not sure what it is. I used to like, I used to really enjoy, you know, the card backs. Card backs were really cool back in the day. And they'd have these crazy little cartoons and say something weird either about the player, the game, or the team. It's just really, really interesting. Here's, here's another one of those 81 tops that we were talking about earlier, and, and I saved this one because of the Larry Bird, but you can see how the preparations, I didn't break this one apart for whatever reason. Probably because Junior Bridgman and, and Ron Brewer weren't going to out-battle anyone. Here's one that's really cool. You've got a slam dunk. So we've got Julius Irvin's base card followed by a slam dunk on both sides, and if you look... You've got Ron Brewer and an Elvin Hayes. So this is uh, Elvin Hayes, Julius Irving, and then Ron Brewer. Here's another one. And you can see it's not it's not broken apart. Ron Brewer, Larry Bird, and Fred Brown. So they, they've got Larry Bird as the rebounding leader. I think you could find him in several different uh, scoring leader, rebounding leader, this leader, that leader, master of the no-look pass, whatever they were calling them back, back then. So you could get several of those guys. Here's one. They also had this all-star. So we got John Long, 
Magic Johnson and Ron Boone. Real interesting cards. Here's a here's a little case that we've got, and these are looks like some some mem cards. This right here, Topps Heritage Ted Kennedy. That was probably yeah, that was the first memorabilia card that I pulled, and I think it has a piece of his glove. So he was a center with the Maple Leafs. Ted Kennedy, a cool card. Wanted to always save that. I don't see a numbering sequence on the back. And then also in that case, we have a Topps Gold Label authentic game worn jersey with Sergey Fe Sergey Fedorov. This is one of my favorite players back in the day. Uh, it's it's not numbered. They do have a have like a stamp here, Sergey Fedorov unnumbered game worn jersey card from the gold label series 2000 2001 now we got another case here looks like some older older cards we'll break these guys open and just sort through them real quick got a ray Rhodes, i believe 77 got a lyle alzado 77 ty domi jonas hogland just looks like some base, some base hockey right there, kind of stuck together. I don't think that any of these are really worth checking out. Here's a pretty cool Patrick Elias. We got a, a shot masters Milan Hedu. Well, Eddie Belfour, kind of a chrome card, top series. Here's some more base of the tops. They must have been just tops base rookie cards. Sergey Zubov. There's another Chrome. Stars of the Game. Joe Sackick. Brent Sopel. Yeah, just some regular hockey base cards right there. And then I got this puzzle. I don't even know what the hell it is. I think it's a baseball card. Might have come out of a. I'm a who knows what it come out of. Here's here's an old school checklist. And as you can see, you know, here's my seven-year-old writing on there uh, kind of butchered that card but whatever back then we weren't really concerned with that that's how we kept track of what we had interception leaders the punting leaders oh wow here's a here's a really really off-center craig morton with the cowboys from uh what would it be 74 1974 off-center craig morton george coons Another off center, Bob Lee. You can you can see the other card. It's trying to show up there. The, the top border's totally cut off. And then some Bears, Hart, Hartenstein, Parsons, Bashno, Clemens. So I, I guess I was putting them in here a little bit by team because we now we got some Broncos, Jim Turner, Craig Morton, Charlie Johnson, then the Buccaneers, Dewey Selman, Anthony Davis. We got the Colts, Roger Carr. Tony Lennart, David Taylor. This card right here, it doesn't look like much, um, but it, it, it's one of the coolest cards in my collection. Uh, I had a buddy about a block away, and we traded this Efren Herrera card back and forth probably 15 times uh, during that season. I want to say this is 77. Yeah, 1977 card so back in the day this this thing went back and forth and i see him today even 40 years later we still talk about this effort herrera card i'm gonna have to put that to the side and make sure to sleeve that we've got a tom mullen steve ramsey jim steinke gordon bell bob kowalski jim lasavik getting into some old school patriots tom owen steve grogan bob howard this right here that's that's the first football card i ever got and I think I poked him in the face with a pencil. Too bad. I, I just didn't know what the hell was going on. I might have been three or four at the time. So I think that's a, a 70, see, 1972 is what it's saying. 1972, so that had been a 1973 card. So I came across that at two, three years old. Happy Feller, Jim Strong. There's a Dwight White. There's a Carl Eller. There's a 1976 record breaker, Jim Marshall. 1977, Alan Page. 
I said 78 Stu Voigt. Got Grady Alterman. Bill Brown. It's kind of beat up. And Fred Cox. So not a bad stack. Not a bad stack at all. We'll go into another case. And I think this one will be a, a, a really just a, a more modern base set. Like I said, you know, I put these guys in here. I don't really know what, I, what I've what i got and what I don't got or what I don't have. So we've got a, a Chris Mims, Cornelius Bennett. I'm going to figure out. A, maybe we'll go with a smaller stack here. John Offerdahl. 1990 Steve Broussard. Got an old school Marion Butts. 93 Mike Walter. 93 Chris Burkett. There's one for you start Charger fans, a 94 Stan Humphreys. There's an old 94 Willie Rofe. 91 rookie Lawrence Dossey. Johnson, Sherrod. Eric Pegram. Andre Reed, Cornelius Bennett, John Freeze, Pinnacle, Frank Reich, Trace Armstrong, Corey Sawyer, playoff contenders, Tony Martin, Jim Harbaugh with the Chargers. I do need to make a Chargers set. I've got a buddy that, that's really into Chargers, and I told him I'd, I'd break some out for him. Here's an older Ricky Waters. Berman's best running Ricky Waters. Another Andre Reed. Looks like a Boomer Esiason. Got Chris Slade. Got Lake Dawson. Got an Eric Green rookie card. Oh, so we've got a, a 94 playoff rookie, Jason Seahorn. Rookie Charles Johnson, University of Colorado, 94 Bledsoe playoff. Here's an Eric Green, I believe, uh, Playmakers. Yep, Eric Green. Jared Bunch, Amp Lee. Now, these Super Chrome rookies, that was, they were wild card Super Chrome rookies, and they came out, and they were pretty interesting, and I, and I bought a lot of these back in. 93, 94, Todd Kelly, Troy Drayton, Andre Hastings. Lighting's kind of weird, so it's hard to see those cards really well. Kyle Brady, Carl Pickens, Quadri Ismail, Ricky Prohl. Looks like a, a Barry Sanders, 1994 upper deck. Berman's best, Jerry Instant Rice. Oh, oh, Chris Berman. These were pretty cool cards back in the day. Uh, upper Deck, Upper Deck, Premier Prospects. So they took what Playoff was doing and they kind of improved it. And you started to see that holographic shift. John Copeland, Natron Means. Here's an old school Black Diamond, Tony Martin. Troy Edwards, Keith McKellar, Rob Moore. So you get these wild cards and those wild card rookie sets that we saw earlier. That I th I, man, I want to say they were inserts. So it was the first time I remember really remember seeing insert cards. 93, Barry Sanders. Here's a 94, Ground Attack, Playoff Barry Sanders. Edge 93, Dion Sanders. Here's an Anthony Munoz rookie card. Kurt Warner. I think 79, Franco Harris, 94, Steve Young, Stan Humphreys, Troy Vincent, Irving Fryer, Old Chief there, Dale Carter, Dale Carter again. Here's some more Tops Finest. We got Hall of Famer Kevin Green. Looks like a double. We got two of them. <laughs> Tops Finest, Boomer Esiason. Chase Programs, Junior Seau, Jerry Rice. Top's finest, Ricky Waters. Then Justin Watson. Here's just some base cards. J.R. Redmond rookie card. Chris Weineke, 
at the movies. Here's a 2001 rookie Todd Heap, Aaron Glenn, OJ McDuffie. Here's, <laughs> these were always kind of crazy. You got a 1994 refractor Andre Risen, and you can, you can kind of see how he changes. Here's a Junior Seau, 94 playoff, and a base, Derek Brown, Upper Deck Star card. Just a few more cards to go. We'll, uh, we'll pull some of these out and see what we have. Like I said, we, uh, we used to store these in, in just the packs as they were. I'd open them up, open them up carefully and place them back in there carefully, try to keep them from, try to keep some of their integrity. These are some top heritage from, Two thousand and two, so Topps Heritage, two thousand and two, Dante Stallworth, Derek Mason, Jimmy Smith, Ron Dane, and Aaron Brooks. Got an NFL experience from nineteen ninety four. I'll tell him what we'll have in here. It's like Pat Swilling, Cornelius Bennett, and another Pat Swilling. They said it says eight cards per pack, so evidently I pulled some out of this pack at one time. There's another NFL experience, probably short. Marvin Jones and Brian Blades. I really don't think there's going to be much to, to talk about or look at in, in these packs. Just some just some commons. It's back when you know tops for years was was the premier, but. Then, then these other guys started coming out. Vinny Testa Verde when he was with the Browns. Vincent Busby and Neil O'Donnell. Wow, some of these, some of these names really <laughs> take you way back. <laughs> take you way back. Some of them, I'm wondering what the hell they're doing in the in the collector's box. So here's a a, a pack of the the Tech Chrome NFL player cards was out of a hobby box. So. We went from cardboard cards and, and crappy photos to, to this kind of technology like overnight. And it was really amazing. Rob Burnett and then Dwayne Washington, Vikings rookie card. So once these things come out of the box, man, they, they were just, it was, you know, you'd open up a pack of these and it was just amazing because it's like we had, I had never seen anything like that. And it was just, it was just interesting. And very exciting, man. Like, what what the heck are they doing these days? Uh, ooh, falling out. Here's a Antonio Freeman patch card. I think we got that in a in a box set off of eBay. See what we've got in here. Probably some some hockey cards. Yeah, looks like a lot of a lot of hockey cards. Probably put in there for sleeve for safekeeping. Got a Stevie Y, 93, 94, Paul Korea, Ultra, a Wayne Gretzky, another Gretzky. Here's another 93, 94 Gretzky. Once again, 93-94 Gretzky, Mario Lemieux, another Mario Lemieux, another one. Here's a Ryan Clady autograph. I think it come out of one of those Facebook or eBay auction sets. Got a BJ Johnson auto. Here's an old school Atlanta Falcons, Brett Favre, NFL Pro Set, uh, 1991. Cool card. Here's another memorabilia card. Terrence Murphy. Absolute playoff 2002, it looks like. No numbering sequence. Let's do this. All right, so there's a Harry Carson, Peyton Manning. Randy Moss, you know, I took a break from collecting and 
got back into it, and these were a couple of my favorite players for sure. Got a Joey Galloway. Here's one of those Super Chrome rookie card, Jerome Bettis, when he was with the Rams. So a 93 wild card, Jerome Bettis. Here's the 93 rookies playoff, Jerome Bettis, with the Golden Dome on his head. 94 tops finest, Deion Sanders. 94 finest, Lawrence Taylor. Out there like a bunch of crazed dogs. 94 finest John Elway. Here's one for you Rams fans. 94 Isaac Bruce rookie card. Ronnie Lott in action. Lawrence Taylor in action. And then this this insert this holder is is weird. You know uh, it's kind of yellow, but Dan Fouts and Roger Staubach 90, 79 passing leaders. And our last case, and I think, I don't know what, what's in these guys. Looks like some, some newer cars. Like I said, I bought some newer cars and just tossed them in there. So this looks like optics, Emmanuel Ogba, cut out draft picks of Jimmy Graham, Julian Edelman, Javon Kirsch, Javon Kirsch. Joe Flacco, Jason Witten. It looks like a, a 2016 draft picks prism, I think. Bryce Williams, Jordan Howard, Greg Olson, Eddie Lacy. They call him the cheeseburger. <laughs> I heard some guys on stream call him the cheeseburger. Kind of funny. Andrew Billings, Shaq Lawson. Here's a cool prism card, Braxton Miller, Ohio State. Taylor Decker from Ohio State. And then a Nick Foles. Well, thanks everybody for sticking with us. I know that was kind of a, a long, a long-winded spiel going over the collector's box. We'll kind of go ahead and pan out, out what, what we have here. You know, thanks for making the time. Like I said, sticking with us and uh, we appreciate you checking it out. If you see anything you like, drop a comment. Let me know what it is. If you like the video, click like, click subscribe, help us out, and we'll help you out in return. Thanks for your time, and we'll see you next time.